this chain or trunk is shown beautifully here on both sides and I follow it just to show where the crucial structures are and importantly if you compare left and right side in this image which means right and left side in the specimen you see that both chain and ganglia indicated with yellow arrows are not symmetrically this is the first thing we should remember secondly the superior part of the cervical sympathetic trunk including the superior ganglion and down to the middle cervical ganglion will be more or less on top of the longus capitis muscle the area where we are going to block the cervical sympathetic trunk which is the trunk itself or the middle cervical ganglion first and then wait for the spread of local anesthetic to the stalate ganglion is positioned on the longus coli muscle a very prominent muscle indicated here